Good morning, dear hearts. We are now in lesson 195. Please subscribe. Um, in the comments that I get every day on the videos, and hopefully you're commenting as well, and if not, please do. I'd love to hear from you. But in the comments, at least someone every day says, another powerful lesson. And these are very powerful lessons that we are in in this last section of new lessons before review and before part two of the workbook. But we were told they were going to be. In the introduction to this section, we were told that you know our lessons are now geared specifically to widening horizons and direct approaches to the special blocks that we still have that are keeping our vision narrow and too limited to let us see the value of our goal. So these lessons, each one, each day, is giving us something new to think about, something different to consider, something, an idea that we get to see things in a different way. So we are widening our horizons, expanding our minds and our hearts to be all inclusive with our brother and with all living things. One of my favorite phrases. So today, the lesson is, love is the way I walk in gratitude. Gratitude is an aspect of love, which this lesson will indeed tell us. Uh, it's being gratefully full, like I, I like to say. Gratitude is a lesson hard to learn for those who look upon the world amiss. So if I am looking at this world in a space of, it's all about commodities, who has what? And if you have more, that means I have less. It'll be very difficult for me to be grateful for the little lot I have. And if I am the one who seems to have amassed more and you have less and I'm feeling grateful, then I am not really understanding what gratitude is about because that is not what gratitude is. Gratitude is the, a part of love that is all inclusive and no one is omitted. Everyone is together and comparisons, there are no comparisons in love and there are no comparisons in gratitude. Do, you do not offer God your gratitude because your brother is more slave than you, nor could you sanely be enraged if he seems freer, if he has opportunities that you do not. Love makes no comparisons and gratitude can only be sincere if it be joined to love. We offer thanks to God, our Father, that in us all things will find their freedom. All living things will indeed find their freedom in God and through us. It will never be that some are loose, some are free, while others are still enslaved. For who can bargain in the name of love? Bargaining is also not part of love. Comparisons, not part of love. And now paragraph five is... I said this last year, it's very reminiscent of something that we uh, all have heard of, I'm sure, and it uh, incorporates the Statue of Liberty. It says, therefore, give thanks, but in sincerity. We have to be really sincere. Gratitude comes from within us, within our heart, within our minds. I cannot, oh yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, nice, that's good. No, that isn't real gratitude. Gratitude comes from within and like love is expansive and goes outward and touches everyone in the same light that love does. So therefore give thanks, but in sincerity and let your gratitude make room for all who will escape with you. All of my brothers, the sick, the weak, the needy and afraid, those who mourn a seeming loss or feel apparent pain, who suffer cold or hunger, or who walk the way of hatred and the path of death. All these go with you. There is no separation between me and my brother, me and my sister. All of us are going together, and I walk with all of these, the sick, the weak, the needy, the afraid. And of course, it reminds me of the poem by Emma Lazarus, which is on the Statue of Liberty, saying that, you know, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me, 
and I lift my lamp beside the golden door. And we have the reference, the metaphor of a door in this lesson as well. The ancient door is swinging free again. A long forgotten word re-echoes in our memory and gathers clarity as we are willing once again to hear. We go with all of these, all of our brothers, whether they are the ones who are experiencing great love and joy. Those are the ones who are needy and downtrodden and who need truthfully to be lifted up. All these go with you. Let us not compare ourselves with them, for thus we split them off from our awareness of the unity we share with them. This is a hard idea and we must share with them. They share with us what we share with them. They are the mirror effect of who we are. When I look at that one who I see as needy and unwell, that is the part of my mind that still has yet to be healed. I must look at them in gratitude for experiencing that for me. Everyone does for me what I have not yet learned to do for myself to heal that part of myself. So as I look at my brothers who seem in my mind to be less than, that's a comparison which I have to release. I look at them as truly being one with me instead and extend my hand to them that I may lift them up as they lift me up. It doesn't matter what they seem to be, my perception of them. The truth of who they are is the same as my truth. We thank our Father for one thing alone, that we are separate from no living thing and therefore one with him. I'm just going to go quickly to um, a lesson from the first 50, which is my mind is part of God's. I am very holy. Now, actually, in the review of that lesson, so we haven't done this yet, but in the review of that, it says that, you know, when I... Uh, ex accept and understand that my mind is part of God's, I am very holy. In the review it says, I begin to understand the holiness of all living things, including myself and their oneness with me. This is the, the idea, this expanded horizon idea that I'm choosing to understand now. All living things, again, it's, it's one of my favorite phrases in the Course. So we give thanks for every living thing, for otherwise we offer thanks for nothing and we fail to recognize the gifts of God to us. We walk then in gratitude, the way of love, for hatred is forgot, for is forgotten when we lay compromise aside. It's only in the compromise, because the compromise in the, is a separateness that takes us out of the space of love and gratitude. What more remains as obstacles to peace? The fear of God. But the fear of God is now undone at last and we forgive without comparing. We, um, the last obstacle to peace is the, our fear of God. But this lesson has tell, has, is telling us that now that is undone. And at last, finally, we are no longer afraid of God and we are no longer afraid of what our Father is offering us and wants us and is where our Father wants us to be. When your forgiveness is complete, you will have total gratitude for you will see that everything has earned the right to love by being loving, even as yourself, your big self. There's a wonderful line in the manual for teachers that says, um, that you know love cannot be far behind a grateful heart and thankful mind so gratitude and love go together as long as well as with our mind being thankful for the awarenesses that we have been given uh, paragraph 10 says our gratitude will pave the way to him and shorten our learning time by more than you could ever dream of um, and that in the paragraph before I wanted to tell you that God has cared for us and calls us son and calls us son can there be more than this in, you know that I want the peace of God is there anything else that I want more than the peace of God is there anything that can be more than our father calling us child come to me I love you is there anything else that compares with that 
and there's no comparisons in love. So we drop all of our comparisons, all of our belief in separate entities. We are all one living thing and we come together to our Father. Gratitude goes hand in hand with love. Where one is the other must where where one is the other must be found. For gratitude is but an aspect of the love which is the source of all creation. My mind is part of God's. I'm very holy. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. And God gives thanks to you, his child, for being what you are, his own completion and the source of love along with him, that God is incomplete without us. We are home now. And your gratitude to him is one with his to you. For love can walk no road except the way of gratitude. And thus we go, and thus we go who walk the way to God in gratitude. And just as a post note or postscript rather, um, I'm going to say, think about saying thank you today. When things are going well, I say thank you a lot for little things. Um, and I'd like to stay in a space of complete gratitude if I can can't always no one can probably but for little things to that as they go right as they unfold the way you would like them to or with ease and grace as I like to say consider saying thank you okay just a thought so please like please share please subscribe please comment uh, please pray new flowers more flowers and uh, please pray that you have a space in your mind today of total and complete love and gratitude, and then give that away. Namaste.